Well, hello again folks, and I hope you're all still keeping well out there. Doing a little something different this week, as I got a phone call from a local farmer who I do a wee bit of shooting on and off for, who built a new cattle shed. The shed seems to be mostly used for beef cattle, which he feeds a lot of meal to, to help bring them up to the right weight for the meat market. Unfortunately, the local Corvids have been giving him a lot of grief lately, as they've been treating it as a free-for-all. And as well as the extra loss of the meal, there's also the possibility the birds could be spreading diseases to the livestock. So he asked me if I could come down and uh, discourage them a little. Unfortunately though, he built the shed without giving any prior thought to where I might be able to hide myself for a safe shot. So I brought my little pop-up hive from bushware.com and set it up in front of this beat up old quad then wrapped it with a simple black camouflage net to try and make the hide look a wee bit like a black silage beetle. This morning I brought my John Bowkit blue printed BSA Super 10 in 22 calibre running at about 15 to 16 foot pounds of energy with the 15.9 grain JSB exacts and yes it's on my FAC as I live in Northern Ireland and anything over one joule of energy has to be on a licence. The scope is an Eco Sterling Target Master 4 to 16 by 44 with LRX Radical, with a Virex silencer up front and the Tacticam 5.0 and FTS unit to film through the scope. I'm not long into the hide before the birds make a reappearance, so I decided to target the magpie sitting on the ground, furthest away from the cattle. I estimated it was about 30 yards away, so held dead on. But I think the bird moved or something as I squeezed the shot, because the pellet struck, but the bird seemed to have quite a bit of life left in it and managed to run round the corner out of sight. This of course kicked a lot of the rest of the birds off into a wee bit of a frenzy, and I was quickly presented with a second shot. Unfortunately, what I thought was a 30 yard shot was actually a 35 yard shot and I hit low, but I hit hard. Unfortunately, the bird still managed to fly off, but it didn't get too far until the farm cat chased after it like a mad thing. Amazed at what I just saw, I was still really annoyed at myself at the bad marksmanship I displayed with my first two shots. And even though I left the hide to try and remedy the situation, I only found the one bird. I'm not sure which one it was, but there's so much weeds, bric a brac and scrap about here for a bird to get lost under, it's almost impossible to find them. I don't think the little black cat ate it, but there are still plenty of other cats on the farm that might have grabbed it. Though I was still annoyed at myself but decided to keep pushing on as I did promise the farmer I'd try and put a dent in their numbers. Thankfully though, even after all the disturbance, it wasn't too long before another magpie showed up. This time there was no mistake and the bird dropped like a stone. Shortly after that, the farmer turned up with a whole bucket full of meal. Yep, feeding time again. Thankfully he pushed all the meal and the straw up into a bit of a bank in front of the cattle, so that should give me a nice soft backstop. The last time I caught him on camera, he got his quad stuck in the mud. And I think since that, it's sort of gone to his head a bit. Daft agent. Now, as you can imagine, with a whole pile of fresh meal set out, it wasn't too long till the birds returned again. I waited for the two magpies on the left to step a wee bit further away from the cattle before taking my shot. I 
I'm pretty sure it was game over after the first shot, but I shot again just to make sure as I've chased after enough birds this morning. I left that bird where it fell, hoping that it wouldn't put the other birds off from landing, and it didn't, as another magpie landed shortly after. Now, with two dead birds lying, in full view of any other birds coming in, I decided it was time for a tidy up. That was a pretty close one, at about 10 to 12 yards, hence the blurry picture. Now that one sounded like it really hit hard. I decided on another quick tidy up as the cattle have a bad habit of tramping any shot birds into the bottom of the pen. Man, these magpies must really like this meal. Though, I don't think I'll be in their Christmas card list after the day. It looks like one of these mates thinks he's safe at the far end of the shed. But I don't think he realises I know the proper holdover point for that distance now. Well, that's another couple in the bag, and nope, the little black cat isn't interested in them, because I tried it. I've been watching this rook for a few minutes, hoping to get a safe shot at it. And it finally obliges me by landing on the top railing. Yet another close range blurry shot. A couple of magpies went buck wild at the sound of the shot, but I was too slow for either of them. Oh well. Maybe catch you later, hey? Later on the weather improved somewhat and the jackdaws started descending in big numbers. Unfortunately, the sheep had also decided to partake of the free meal and this was making taking any ground targets very hazardous, hazardous indeed. I could have taken some of the birds off the edge of the roof but knowing my luck, they'd probably get stuck up there and put off any incoming birds, which would be the end of my day shooting. Thankfully though, I could still take them off the top railing. That's when they stayed long enough to get a shot. And I don't know how I missed that one. The pellet just seemed to graze the side of its neck, taking a few feathers with it. Thankfully, the jackdaws didn't seem to put off with it, and quickly returned.
where I redeem myself with a quick double and skirt the bajikers out of the sheep. Hopefully that'll keep them out of the road for a while. There was nothing wrong with that shooting, so what happened to you the last time? Even after that ruckus, the birds slowly returned again. Though, even though I had four or five birds sitting out in front of me, a movement out the left hand side of the hide caught my attention. A hooded crow, or greyback if you want, and you don't usually get an opportunity at these inside a farmyard as they're very wary birds and I didn't want to miss this one. At probably seven or eight yards it's yet another blurry picture I'm afraid. Goodness, that really got the rest of the birds in a bit of a tiz, but it soon calmed down again. After that hooded crow, the rest of the birds seemed to clear off, and even though I had a magpie sitting in front of me, I was worried if I took the shot the pellet might ricochet off the concrete yard and head towards the cattle so decided to go for one of the jackdaws on the roof, as I felt the day was more or less coming to a close anyway. And all looked good until, yep, I realised I'd only nicked it. Somehow I'd only broke the shoulder and not hit the heart. And, to make matters worse, when I went to take the follow-up shot, yep, I was out of pellets. Which, after looking at the footage, might have been a good thing, as the cattle was right behind it. By the time I had reloaded the other magazine, it hopped into the calf pen, so I hastily left the hide while untangling myself from the camouflage net, which has a fine netting on the inside that has since been removed as it catches on everything. Thankfully though, I was able to retrieve the jackdaw from the back of the calf pen and finish the job. As you can see, unfortunately the sheep made a triumphant return, so I ignored the magpie on the ground and went for the jackdaw that just landed on the railings. The sound of the commotion seemed to spook up the rest of the birds, and I noticed a jackdaw had landed on the railings further inside the calf pen on the left. For some reason, I didn't seem to catch that one on the tacticam, unfortunately. But by now, I'd been sitting for a good few hours, and the birds seemed to have lost interest, so I decided to call it a morning. Well, at the end of the day, that's quite a mixed bag of corvids. Though, I'm still annoyed at myself for the three birds that nicked, though the farmer was absolutely delighted with my efforts. Maybe I need to spend more time on the practice range, instead of sitting here editing this stuff. But anyway, take care folks and look after yourselves, hey. <laughs>